Hello everyone and welcome back to my Let's Play of Aiden Chronicles, the first mage. Well, it has been a long time, hasn't it? At least from my perspective. <laughs> it's been like over a year since I last recorded anything. Uh, long story short, I wasn't able to record for a good portion of that and... When I was able to actually record, I wasn't able to upload. It's a long story. I'm not going to get into the details, but we're back. We're going to finish this Let's Play, and we'll see what happens after. I don't know. But as you can see, I'm back in the Terminor Inn, or this is supposed to be the inn. Um, there's some slight differences from what I remember from coming here the first time, and... And, and what I'm seeing on the guide and what's actually happening, this guy here, his name is Timber, uh, uh, Timberlane, and he's a bit of a storyteller. He's the guy, obviously, who's got supplies. I can talk to him here and ask for some news, right? Um, so I can ask him about the Jundar. I can ask him about the Trolls. Uh, I'm going to ask him about each thing, just to see what happens. I know that the last one, the Magic Storm, is related to a side quest, if I remember correctly. Um, for all I know, they're all related to side quests. So we're going to see what happens here. So I'm going to ask him about the Chundar. Uh, let's see. Huh. Wow, the the actually the Jundar actually attacked him. Interesting. I don't want to see the scar. Probably in his ass or something. Uh, let's hear about the trolls. Okay. Back in year 901, great disturbance of magical energy. Ooh, that sounds interesting. Nearly destroyed us all. <laughs> that sounds dangerous. Yes, yeah, sounds terrifying. Mago, yep. I remember doing this, um, the last time I played through the game. It's a side quest. I don't remember exactly what the side quest entails, but there's a side quest relating to this guy named Mago who lives in the town here. Now I asked him where I can find Mako. Near the castle. Right. Now, apparently there is a way to actually rest in this inn. Um, but... I don't know how. It's supposed to be an option. He's supposed to actually be outside when you first come into the town. This, this guide says that after... If you leave Terminal without talking to him, he'll disappear forever. Um, but he's supposed to be outside. And you're supposed to have an option when you talk to him where I'll pay double rates for your for hospitality. But 
he's not outside, he's inside, and it's not like I can actually use the bed, so what gives? <laughs> like, I don't know, this is supposed to be the inn, but I can't actually sleep at the inn. Uh, I'm not going to talk to Retta or anything, I'm just going to leave. But I wanted to show you that. And the other thing that I was looking into, uh, that I remember doing before, barely, vaguely, there's supposed to be this almost evil woman that is around this well somewhere, it's supposed to be, and it's supposed to give me an item after talking to her and choosing certain options. But she's not here. So I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I did something and it caused her to disappear. But she's gone. So that's pretty much the end of it. Uh, I rested outside before starting recording. So spell battery is fully charged up. Everyone's at full health and everything. I'm thinking of doing the Mago thing now. But I want to take a quick look at the what the guide says about what the next steps are and everything. So I'm going to pause the recording here and I'll be right back. Right, so I'm back and I read up in the guide. Uh, the next step really is to go to, to uh, Ugarit, or however it's pronounced. Um, I think that's what it's called. Let me just check here. The map. Yeah, Ugarit. Got it. I don't know. Um, but we're going to do the Mago thing first. Now, this particular guide, and this, this is another area where I, where I said before that this, this walkthrough guide is not complete. Um, and there are only a handful of guides on the, on, the, on the internet, and this is the most complete of them all. Uh, there's supposed to be a house last building in town, so down here, there should be a woman standing outside, I think it's this one, uh, I think it was supposed to be that one, well let's go find out, alright so there should be a merchant in here, Nobody here, what so frickin' ever. This ain't it. Maybe there's a third section to the town. I don't know, let's go find out. Okay, the door is actually supposed to be locked, so let's go through this door. I thought this led to the castle, but... No, uh, it doesn't. Okay. Um... Have I been here before? <laughs> I, 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 I don't remember. Those, that looks like it's probably a shop, that too. Uh, well, let's go check them out. It's been so long, I don't remember if I've been here before. Well, this looks like a library. Door over here. And it is indeed a door. <laughs> Leads to an otherwise appearing to be empty room. Yeah, empty with nothing of interest. Just the uh, library librarian's bedroom, I'm guessing, or whatever this place is. Hello, it's a shop. There are zombies on the loose. <laughs> Alright, uh, let's buy something. Let's see what she has to sell. Sense Aura and some flasks. No thank you. Lore and... Well... <laughs> the hell with this place. But I'll take into consideration the fact that there are apparently zombies on the loose. Maybe I'll go kill them. Alright, so then across the way, there's another house there that probably doesn't have anything in it. And in 
here. Oh, I think I know what these places are. This is the area where there's like a shop. Oh, uh, this is the shop too. But it's only open at night. The other one's open at day. So I think I've been here before. Let's just check this house real quick. There's probably nothing here. Yeah, there's nothing and nobody here. So, moving on. Up the hill, there's another house. And that would definitely be the last house. So, and that's the castle. I don't know if you can go in the castle or not. Or not, it's just a fountain. Okay. Maybe it's supposed to be the castle, but they didn't actually include a door. Huh. I don't know. So there's nobody standing outside, and the door is not locked. This looks like a shop, too. Oh, there's a downstairs. Oh, yes, okay. There is a downstairs here. I recognize this now. This is it. So there's a merchant on this floor. All right, so yeah, this is the merchant. They have wizard skill, Malaysian control and elemental versus star, and then some scrolls. Wizard at five, eight, eight. Yeah, that's pretty good. Um, what level did I get the first star to? Five. I didn't bother with emulation. Control elemental is at one. Yeah, let's let's get that to five. Why not? I can I can afford that. Um, I kind of feel like maybe I should increase his wizard skill. Just, just, just by one, just to, just to six. Because he does have spells. Hold on, let me check something real quick here. Um, I can't remember. Right, um, the merging with the spirit increases some of his skills. I'm not going to touch his wizard skill. I'm going to wait and see if that gets increased to 10. I have a feeling it does. So I'm not going to touch that. Alright. So... No training any of that. Um, there should be. Aha, another staircase. Yes. Go down. Now, according to the guy, this does nothing. But I remember correctly, if I remember correctly, and I'm pretty sure I do, with the correct dialogue options, actually something does happen. But I, sorry. But, okay. Nothing apparently happens. 
Uh, it might be later on. I swear, I remember something happening here before. I'll go back to Timberlane and see what he has to say. I don't remember what exactly, but I know, and I guess that goes to say that I've probably been here uh, further in the story than I actually originally remember. Um, because I do specifically remember some sort of cutscene with that guy. Because if you, if you pay attention to what you just witnessed when I went in there, that guy in the chair, Mago, he looks a lot like the guy who was in a chair who was uttering some sort of nonsense in the visions you had early in the game with Oriana. Or were the ones with Adria. I don't remember. But... At some point, he's actually in those visions. I'm pretty sure it's him. And if I remember correctly, there's something something that happens with him where we're supposed to go back and see him and confront him about something. I don't remember exactly what it is or when it happens. This is probably the first time I played through the game. Um, because the first time I played through the game, I think I actually did go to, to Ugarit. I think I actually did finish the tower and everything, so I just, it's just like blur, right? I don't really remember. But I guess what we'll do is we'll just continue onward. And, ooh, right, I have maps now. Uh, I have maps. I think the last time I played, I did not have access to any of this. But now I do. I, I haven't actually sorted through all the image files that I saved from. Uh, from having you know been pointed to the location where where I could find them by someone in the comments of the video, one of the videos. I don't remember who it is, who you were. So. Um, I might look into the, <laughs> the comments. There's been a lot of comments in the in the past while since I stopped recording. I, I will go and look over them all, uh, reply to the ones that I feel the need to reply to and everything. So whoever you were that pointed me to the uh, website where I could find these links, I think the website was uh, Video Game Atlas or, uh, Atlas or something like that. Um, thank you for that. That was awesome. Um, I just need to find the correct map here just because the, the the desert is pretty freaking uh big <laughs> what the hell is the difference between these two i don't know i haven't really sorted through oh i see okay this has got that like that uh yeah so Ugarit is where? <laughs> I don't even freaking know. Um, I'm not even sure if this is the correct map. Probably, for all I know, it is not. No, it is. Okay, this is the correct map. So I'm going to put this here. Yeah, those maps are like similar to being the same, but at the same time they're not. And I'm not sure what's up with that. <laughs> I'm just gonna use this one here. Um, all right, so hold on. I don't know what that did to the video. Let me just check, make sure everything's fine. I'll be right back. Right, so uh, having watched over the video, I realized that uh, the mouse cursor was being shown in the video. That's uh, uh, sorry about that. Uh, <laughs> it was an option and perhaps that I forgot to turn off um, having reinstalled my operating system on my computer and everything uh, since it's the last time I recorded reinstalled fraps uh, right so we need to head towards the desert oh wow it's already evening now now just to look over my stuff here right I have the warfang equipped four damage Mace of Glory was five. I'm gonna find some time, maybe off camera, to go up against like a maybe a group of ogres or something, and just compare the damage the two do do to them. 
Um, because I have a feeling the Mace of Glory might actually be a lot stronger. But at the same time, that plus two to Warrior skill actually probably makes a difference. So, I don't know. Um, <laughs> I kind of wish I knew what these things meant a little more, but I don't. Um, so we're just going to go with it. Everyone is... That's right, I was training her sword skill up a bit now. Uh, she's the only ranged character here. Keelan. Uh, okay, so we're going to proceed. And uh, we're just going to go with the way things are. Now, I think... There's a side quest to kill some zombies or trolls or something, but I'm not sure. So we're going to proceed. And I probably should bring up the map here. <laughs> uh, right, there we go. So, I need to head south. Sort of. Yeah, so there's the road. I see the road. We follow the road. Oh, there's the spirit. But it's not time to join yet. If I'm not mistaken. I hope I'm going in the right direction, to be honest. <laughs> I have no idea. There's the, uh, the ocean. And there's apparently a cave up here. Have I been in it? I don't know. Can check it out. Is it a cave? It is a cave. with some weird music. Oh, and a chaos minion. Oh, and a fight. Oh, this is gonna be a really pathetic fight, but it's the first fight that I get into after so long. Ha, <laughs> fails to cast a spell, you suck. There's only one thing that's a threat here, and it's not that big of a threat. So, we're going to attack scouts with her. Send in the main character to take care of the one real threat. Yeah, he's going to start casting mirror first, which is good, because that's one at a time on everyone. The point is to get close enough where it won't matter. They're all going after Keelan. Uh, just dodge these guys. Can I hit him? I cannot. Oh, yeah. That's loud. Let me adjust this volume settings here. Let's see. Can I do that? Mid. Volume. see what that does. That's not a big difference, but... Alright, here we go. 29. And those things have huge resistances to magic. Ah, the scout flees. Come in here and smack him in the back. Casting mirror on himself. That's not going to help you. And that's a victory. A really easy victory. Oh, I'm, 
I'm full on herbs. I'm gonna have to leave them. Uh, I might make potions while I'm here then. What is this? Just some sort of little tent. Probably the monster's resting place, I don't know. Up the hill. of who knows what on the ground. Oh, those big guys. Here we go. Hi there, what the hell? Hey. Hey, look at that, Zyrek leveled up. Yay. It wasn't a lot of experience, but I guess it didn't need a lot of it. Um, so while I was fighting those... Um, God, what are they called now? Uh, there was one scout and three... Let me pull up the list here. Let me name so I can freaking figure this out. Where is it? 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 Chaos Warriors! Um, so, while I was fighting them, I uh, swapped out a couple times the weapon that the main character is using. The Warfang for the Mesa Glory. The highest hit I got with the Warfang was 56 and that was from behind. Um, it was averaging about 35 to 45 from other angles. So while the spell battery is nice I don't cast spells that often with him. And the Mesa Glory hit well beyond 60 damage each time. Oops, fast it. So we're going to stick to the Mesa Glory for now until I get the, the much stronger sword, which I don't know when I get it, but I know it exists. That's that's all. <laughs> uh, I'm going to give her the Warfang as a result. That'll make her stronger. Yeah, because the, um, the plus two to warrior skill appear, appear, uh, appeared to not make much of a difference in terms of the damage I could deal with it. Ooh, gemstones. Only eight. Uh, how many spice? I'm good on spice. I have too many herbs, so I need to make some potions. So I'll do that. Right now, actually. Who's my strongest alchemist? That would be the main character. And I want to make, well, actually, let's see how much I have potion-wise in the first place. So I have, let's just scroll down, <laughs> oh well, 74 stealth potions, eh, 20 stamina potions, nice, 70 strength, 60, uh, 76 health healing potions, curing potions, 87. Uh, so let's make some healing potions then. Because curing requires three herbs, two spice. This is just two herbs for the stamina. Ooh, requires two herbs for stamina potions. How many stamina potions did I say I had? Only 20. That's actually... I like that. The, stam the, the thing about the stamina is that the stamina gets used up... Where is it? Um, it's for your spell casting. So, like the spell battery on the, on the Warfang, right? Your stamina also acts as a spell battery. So when you cast a spell, it, it gets lowered. Um, so the more stamina you have, the more spells you can cast. As you can see, 65 on the main character here. 55, 60, 55. Uh, stamina potions will come in handy for that reason. And they can also help for healing. So... They only require two herbs versus three, and they have the potential for healing a lot more, depending how much you've lost stamina compared to endurance. So I'm going to make a bunch of stamina potions. Three. Four. Yeah, 
yes, the alchemist at least rank five. So that's that. Getting it to this point is what allowed has allowed me to do this. Six. Let's make ten. Seven. We'll use up twenty herbs. Eight. Nine. Ten. That should put me at thirty. Oop. Scroll back up now. Apparently. Come on. There we go. Yep. Thirty stamina potions. Excellent. Excellent, and that uses up 20 of the herbs that I had, so that's not a bad thing either. Oh, there's a hill down here. Let's see where this goes. Um, to an exit. Okay. And a chest that did not even appear to be anything. Uh, one herb, a chaos sword, whoop de doo and a little bit of gold. That was a chest. <laughs> okay. Um, thunderstorm. Can I just walk off this cliff, though? No. Nuts to that. So I'm going to have to go back through the cave. That's okay. So there really wasn't much of value here, um, but it did give me the opportunity against those Chaos Warriors who don't really have a lot of magical resist to try and gauge um, just how much difference and damage the uh, Miss Glory does to the Warfang. The plus two to Warrior skill, while helpful, clearly is not enough of a difference. Even with a higher sword skill, I mean, if I get maybe like a, a really good hit, maybe it'd be fine, but overall, probably best to stick with the Mace of Glory for the time being. A wrecked boat. And a dock. I'm not sure what's over there. I don't think I have a map for this area. I'd have to look through my maps here. But for now, I just want to get to Ugarit. Because um, that's just the next logical location to go. And then I can come back and explore off-camera. I don't know why I say off-camera. It's not really on camera here. It's just frapsing recording. Um, but <laughs> it's just a fun way to say it, I guess. Um, so I want to get... I don't know where to go, that's the thing. I, I need to head east ish and south. That's all I know. So we're just gonna keep heading in this direction. Oh. Nope, oh. and apparently I can actually go down here. So much so that it's pushing me down. Right, so... Let's... Attack these guys. Two Chaos Stormers. And two Sorcerers, or... Somethings. I am not within range of anything. Lame. That filth gas spell because I hit you too hard. Let's attack the injured one. Oh, I missed. Starlight shield. Okay. They're sorcerers. I right, wanted a sorcerer, and one will be a. I don't remember what it's called. Eh. Spellweaver. Yeah, that's it. Let's go and attack this one. Since so I can get behind it. Now it won't be able to cast anything. In theory. It's actually just barely able, I'm guessing, but it is failing to cast anyway. Where's he going? Where do you think you're going? 
You're not going after Keelan. I won't allow it. Wow, only 14 damage? Oh, Keelan's over there, actually. And it's dead. You hit harder than... Uh, Baird, come on. That, you gotta be better than that. You gotta be better than that. 22 damage on that. Yeah, the Starlight Shield's not gonna help my cause here. It's almost dead. Let's finish it off. Let's hit this guy instead of the other one. <laughs> Not much better, yeah. Uh, I might actually, just for the hell of it, switch weapons. Just, just, just to show comparison. Wow, that's like pathetic damage. Um, do I have any spells I want to try? Oh, she has immolation. No, no spells. I don't have to spell star, so... I can't dispel their starlight shields. Ah, I'm just gonna stick with the Miss Glory. <laughs> he ran. I won't let your friend run. And there's another battle won. Not much experience though. Ooh, another Chaos Maul. Excellent. Uh, let's go down here and check what's down here. Probably nothing, but... Whoa, there's actually something down here. <laughs> uh, that'll be fun. Let's go fight it. Four griffins. No idea how tough they'll be. Can't reach, so I am going to cast strength. Just to speed things up here. And because I can. I have a feeling they're pretty tough. Oh, sweet. She can reach one of them. And backstab. 42. Not bad. Uh, actually, no. We're going to have a little fun. And we're going to cast Fireball on the whole lot of them. Come on, I know I can hit all four. Bingo. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that damage. <laughs> ah, they're almost all gonna be dead. Dead. 95. This is why on the other playthrough I have going right now, I have the main character be exactly what Keelan is right now. Mainly a spellcaster with a bow to act as a support damage when spells aren't going to be effective. Main character won't even get a single hit in. He cast strength and that was it. <laughs> wow. 6,000 experience. Not a lot. Not a lot indeed. But that was fun nonetheless. I don't remember, does this main character have any... Minus two stamina, see that's the reduction from... But as you see, my health is dropping. And I'll show you why in a second here. Minus two stamina that's from casting the spell. I don't believe I have any spell battery on anything. Protection, endurance. Resist air, spell lightning. Magic lightning, spell light. So I can cast lightning with the helmet, I can 
uh, auto casted uh, on attack with the mace. Uh, yeah, I have no spell battery on, on anything here. But that's okay. Uh, so, right, as I was going to say here, as you can see, I have plus one to endurance, right? Um, now, that's because this reduces it by three. Nope. And this increases it by five. Now, you would think that it would be a plus two instead of a plus one. Uh, why it's a plus one, I'm not sure. I don't think, if I remember correctly, there's nothing else that's lower yet. No, so I don't know why it only shows us it's plus one, but it does. Um, if I were to give him a second ring of healing, or take off the, the shield amulet, let's, let's just show you here. Take off the shield amulet, it goes up to a plus four. So I think my guess is the negative to endurance is being applied after the plus five from the ring. And the maximum you can have for endurance is 40 and then plus four. Like I have a plus five from the ring, so something's reducing it by one and, uh, you know, it's... I've tested it when I had just rested full health and everything. I can I can rest now just to show you. Let's, let's just go ahead and just camp here for the hell of it. So he'll be full health, full everything. And it's daytime, so it's nice. <laughs> uh, so as you can see, only plus four. 127 HP. So if I take off the ring, or rather if I reduce that bonus of plus four, by adding on the uh, the necklace, the amulet, somewhere I probably should have gone down or up, or whatever. So my HP doesn't change, and I'm only at plus one. So the, your HP, you only get increases to HP up to a maximum of 40 endurance, but you can have kind of like a four HP buffer, that uh, or or more actually, technically speaking that comes in the form of that little plus here. So it says plus one, right? It's actually more than that. Uh, because, at least I'm pretty sure, it's it's currently would be a plus two, maybe. I don't know, I guess I'm not 100% sure on that. But the fact is, if I didn't have the amulet, I'd have plus four. I could take up to four damage to either my endurance or my stamina before my HP starts going down. It's so like you saw earlier, my stamina was minus two, yet my HP was still at full so it, it's acting as a buffer so having like for example on on Baird here plus 15 endurance for all intents and purposes he still has 40 endurance right with the plus 10 and he's get he's got a 5 HP buffer that if he loses 1 HP for some reason it's just replaced by the additional plus 5 that's coming in from his axe or one of the rings right so to my knowledge, that's kind of how it's working. You can quote me on it if you want or don't. This is just my observation. Um, if I do something, you know, if, uh, we'll, we'll see what happens if Baird takes like five damage. His HP probably won't even drop. Is there anything over here? There appears to be a carcass, which ends up giving me. <laughs> Uh, really not much worthwhile there. Uh, probably just sell those because I have way too much inventory stuff going on here. That looks like a cave. I'll have to remember that. Come back to it. For now, we're going to keep on trucking. Keep on moving on. Uh, I don't think I could go down there. No? Alright. Um... We're gonna keep heading to Ugarit. We'll do an explora any exploration afterward, after the fact. Uh, if I have a map of this particular area, then that will help. Right now, I need to look through all my, all the basically the image files, 
uh, or maps, you could say, to see if I do have one. I just want to get to the desert. This episode. <laughs> Get the Ugarit in this episode. Uh, I don't know how long it's been. Let me check real quick. Let's see. Um, hold on here. <laughs> it has been already 40 minutes plus whatever duration this one's been going for. So, nearly an hour <laughs> already. That's crazy. I might, that's just of the raw fraps. I, I, there might be something I might cut out. You never know. But, um, like, for example, some of those fights that I went through. There, I know there was one I didn't show, but I have a tendency lately anyway to not really show fights if they're not really of value. We'll see. We'll see what happens. I'm trying to get back in the groove doing this. It's been a long time. I have no idea if I'm going in the right direction whatsoever. Oh, there's the bridge with the trolls. I'm not going to do that now. Yeah, that's, that's, <laughs> it sounded for a second like it was coming in a different direction, but that was him. Proceed forward. Probably should bring up the map here. I have no idea. Oh, I came in a freaking dead end, didn't I? Um, actually, the troll... ...would allow me to go down. Where am I on the map here? I might actually have to cross the bridge in order to get where I'm going. Maybe what I'll do is I'll just end the episode here, here for today because it's been it's been a pretty considerable amount of time, and if I remember correctly, by going back and looking at the previous episodes here, I had a tendency to try and keep it. What was it? Fifty minutes for that one. So, yeah, I think this is, that's what I'll do. I'm going to end the episode for here for today. Just try and ease myself back into doing these. In the next episode, which I promise <laughs> will come out uh, within a week from this one being released on YouTube. Um, if you're watching this later, much later after they've come out, well, then this is really just from my perspective. Um... We're going to find our way to Ugarit, continue finding our way to Ugarit. If we have to cross this bridge with the with the trolls, then so be it. We will kick their butts, and we will continue onward. And uh, But I'm going to look into that. I'm going to sort out my maps here and figure, uh, figure out which ones are what. And, and uh, we'll continue onward. Until next time.